firefighters have returned about 10 hours later to put out hot spots, but it's a neighbor who saved all the people living inside. He said, yes, I smell smoke, and then we heard this pop, pop, pop sound, so. It didn't take long on this coldest of nights for flames to be only part of the problem for firefighters. And as fire shot from the back of the second floor and through the roof of 25 Wayne Street in Worcester, everyone got out. Three generations, thanks to the quick thinking of a longtime next door neighbor, Marcia Amarsing's son. He ran out and said, um, Mommy, there's a fire, call 911. So I did. I called 911. And then we realized that they were still in the house. So he went, he banged on the door. They didn't answer. I said, Kick the door off, you know? So he went in and they took them out. So. Yeah, everyone is safe. She and her family feared the flames would spread next door to their home, but through biting sub-zero wind chill, Worcester fire crews were able to hold them back. Through troublesome hydrants, icy conditions, and whipping winds, they eventually put the fire out. The third alarm was called for manpower just because of the weather. Um, obviously, this is a wind-driven fire, which um, hampers our ability to um, actively fight a fire. The DPW came by several times to spray salt over the sheet of ice that coalesced on the street. Daylight and firefighters returned using a chainsaw to open up a dormer in the eaves to keep the fire from starting back up and spreading. Again, no injuries, incredibly, in either the fire or in the extreme cold. In Worcester, Josh Brogadier, WCVB News Center 5.